Hello, my name is Simona and I'm from Spain. Please like and subscribe. Growing up, what I hated most was when my parents argued and yelled at each other. And it happened a lot. But there were some moments when we'd all laugh together. Like when I turned three, dad came home with the biggest unicorn doll for me. And mom baked my favorite vanilla cake. It was the happiest day of my life. Simona, you're the best thing that's ever happened. When you were born, our world changed. Yes, darling. You mean everything to us. Mom worked as a secretary at a big insurance company, and Dad worked at a local store. So we lived a pretty average life. But then one day when I was four, Mom came home driving her boss's expensive car and told Dad that she was leaving him. Please don't go, Mom. I love you. Oh, my baby. I tell you what. You will visit me at my new house every weekend. I watched Mom pack her bags and drive away. And Dad was so sad. He told me that he and Mom were now separated. Months later, he took me to visit her at her new fancy house. And she was sitting with her boss carrying a new baby. Simona, I'd like you to meet your baby sister, Luisa. Luisa was the luckiest little baby because her dad bought her all the toys in the world. I liked going to their mansion, and Mom would be so happy every time I visited. But soon Luisa started crying so hard for Mom's attention that it became difficult for us to spend any time together. Once when I was five and Luisa was a toddler, Mom took us to the zoo and bought us both candy. But Luisa threw hers into the baboon cage, and then she started crying hysterically for more. She even started pulling Mom's hair, and I gave her my candy so she'd calm down and give Mom a break. Oh, Simona, thank you so much. You've always been such an understanding child. I hope your sister grows up to be just like you. Thanks, Mom. We just want you to be happy. Since Mom had left, Dad always tried to hide his sadness and make me laugh with his jokes and dramatic bedtime stories. And I tried my best to always make him proud and happy, too. Once in second grade, Dad came to my school for a parent-teacher meeting, and my teacher, Esmeralda, told him all sorts of nice things about me, since I was the top student in her class. Wow, I'm so proud of you, darling. You should be. Simona is a very special little girl. Right after the meeting, Dad invited Esmeralda to come with us for pizza. He looked really happy around her, and soon after, he started seeing her more often. And I didn't mind at all because she was very nice to me. Once in fourth grade, we went to the ice rink together, and Esmeralda showed me how to skate. Okay, I'm not letting go of your hand until you're strong on your feet. I think I can skate on my own. Look! I let go of her grip and twirled around, feeling like I was flying. And then suddenly my leg twisted and I fell down hard. I felt dizzy and I saw Esmeralda running towards me as I blacked out. I was rushed to the hospital and my leg was put through so many scans and then bandaged up. Esmeralda couldn't stop crying. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry, Simona. No, please, don't blame yourself. I wanted to skate on my own. Dad hugged Esmeralda to make her feel better. And just then, Mom barged in with Luisa. How could you let this happen? She started yelling at Dad, and they both got into a big argument, forgetting all about me. Guys, guys, stop. Everyone looked at me, and then Luisa came closer to my bed, looking angry. I had a big concert today, and I was the lead, but now I'm here because Mom was worried about you. You ruined my concert. Luisa, you can't speak to your sister like that. She just got injured. Luisa pulled an ugly face at me, and just then the doctor walked in with some bad news. He told my parents that my leg would never be normal again. I walked with a limp, and at school, I couldn't participate in any sports, but I still remained the top student in the class. And everyone was so nice to me since I'd never had trouble making friends, and I always helped them with their homework. One day when I was in seventh grade, Esmeralda watched how I helped some kids understand a math equation, and she was so impressed. Simona, you would make a really good teacher one day. Yes, I would love to be a teacher one day, just like you, Esmeralda. Esmeralda really cared about me, and when I was in eighth grade, Dad told me that he wanted to marry her, I was so happy for them. Dad even invited Mom and her family. This was his way of finally making peace. Just before the event started, I found Luisa standing and glaring at the big wedding cake. What are you doing here, alone? Whatever I want. This cake looks so delicious. Yes, it is, but 
don't stand too close. We don't want any accidents. She smirked at me, and then suddenly, she stuck her finger out and scooped the frosting off the cake. Hey, you can't do that. But she just <laughs> laughed and reached for the cake again. I ran forward to pull her away. As she tried to push me off, we both started wrestling and crashed straight into the cake. Just then, Mom and Dad appeared, looking speechless. What have you girls done? It wasn't me, Dad, honest. Mom surprised me when she yelled at Louisa. I'm so tired of your behavior, Louisa. Your father has spoiled you so much that everywhere you go, you ruin things. Simona was such a good child compared to you. Well, maybe I should tell Dad to send you back to your poor family. Both Dad and I were so shocked at the way Louisa spoke to Mom. And after the wedding, when I visited Mom again, I noticed that Louisa was awful to <gasps> Mom all the time and bossed her around because her dad gave her the power to do so. Mom, my Prada jacket still has a stain. Get it cleaned right now. I need it for school. Okay, dear. Why are you so mean to Mom? Because she never does anything right. And if she doesn't listen, my dad will kick her out. She's our mom. Don't you love her? Well, she loves you more, so I guess I love my dad more. When I tried to talk to Mom about what was going on in her life, she told me not to worry and said she could handle it. There wasn't much I could do to help her. One day in 10th grade, I was studying in the school library when a boy came out and sat on the table opposite to me. I knew exactly who he was, Jared. He was one of the hot popular guys at school and was reading one of my all-time favorite books. My eyes kept wandering to him now and then, and I tried not to make it too obvious. But he was just so gorgeous. And while I sat zoned out in my fantasy, he suddenly started waving in my face. Hey, are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't staring. I was actually, um... It's okay. I'm used to it. That's why I sometimes come in here to hide away from the girls coming after me. My parents wanted me to be a model because of all the attention I get. Yes, um, you're very good looking. M modeling would suit you. I actually like books and reading. I don't like being in the spotlight. I was so surprised because I always saw him surrounded by girls. I was never after him because he was way out of my league. But after meeting him in the library, we actually became good friends because we had so much in common. One day, he asked if I'd like to see the latest Star Wars movie with him, and I was so excited that another kid in school liked that kind of stuff. We even dressed up like the characters and had the time of our lives. I'm so happy to finally have a Star Wars partner. Me too. You're such a cool person to hang out with. He looked deep into my eyes, and then he leaned over and kissed me. I was so shocked because it all felt like a dream. And then I looked down at my leg and started doubting myself and wondering if any of this was real. Hey, what's wrong? Jared, you're like the hottest guy on this planet, and there's so many pretty girls without any issues like mine. So why me? There's nothing wrong with you, Simona. You're perfect. Jared liked me just as I was, and I learned to love myself with my brokenness. Life at school felt great until one day mom called me with some surprising news. Honey, Louisa will be joining your school. She got expelled from her fancy private school because she was bullying kids. But mom, she won't fit in at my school. No other school will accept her. Please look out for her and show her around. Maybe she can learn something from you. The next day, Louisa walked into my school wearing a white fluffy coat and black shades. Just as she approached me, a group of girls snuck up behind her and spray-painted her coat. What is wrong with you fools? This is Dolce and Gabbana. Oh my gosh, you ruined it. The girls went ballistic and lifted her off her feet. What did you call us? Put me down. When I told the girls that she was my sister, they let her go. What is wrong with the people in your school? This is not one of your fancy schools. And all the newbies get spray-painted. It's tradition. That's why I hated the idea of a public school. Poor people have no class. Ugh, she was such a snob. While I was showing Louisa around, we bumped into Jared and he kissed me before running off to class. Louisa looked at me, stunned. Oh my God, how did the hottest guy in school end up with you? Why, what's wrong with me? Everything. You're boring, you dress like a granny, and you have a broken leg.
You're just a very ugly person inside and out, Louisa. I'm going to steal him from you. Watch and see. I wasn't threatened by my stupid sister. After school, when Jared walked me out to the gate, Louisa ran after us and slipped her number into his pocket. Before I could say anything, Jared spoke up. Louisa, what's wrong with you? I'm with your sister and I'm crazy about her. Please, just stay away from me. I smiled widely as Louisa turned red. And just then, Esmeralda came to pick me up. We had to wait till mom came for Louisa. And she yelled on the phone at mom for being late. Hey, you can't speak to your mom that way. Mind your own business, lady. You are not my stepmother. Louisa was just out of control. I decided I was done with her. I completely ignored her for the next day at school. And during recess, she insulted some girls by calling them poor, and they all surrounded her. But I didn't run to her rescue. Hey, aren't those girls hurting your sister? Yes, but she can't control her awful mouth. Whatever happens to her, she deserves it. Yeah, but she's still your sister. Jared always had a way to make me think twice. So I stepped into the circle of girls and found my sister crying. Simona, please tell them to bring back my bag. Not until you promise to change your ways, especially how you speak to mom. I promise. Please, please save me from these mean girls. It's not so nice when it's done to you, right? I told the girls to leave my sister alone, and then she joined me and Jared for lunch. And to my shock, she actually apologized for being a jerk. I'm really sorry, Simona. I've always been mean to you and mom because I always felt she loved you more. But today, when those girls were mean to me, I felt what it was like to be the weak one. I've hurt so many people already. Well, it's never too late to change. Later that day, when my stepmom and mom came to pick us up, Louisa apologized to both of them too. And then, Esmeralda told us some thrilling news. She was pregnant. Oh my god, what? I'm gonna be a big sister again. That baby's lucky to have you, Simona. And you, Louisa, will be the best big sisters ever.